Hey you guys, we are back, we are back. We're back with another declutter. We're gonna declutter and see how much we can get through with the glitz and glam. If you guys haven't seen the rest of my declutter, y'all need to go and check out the playlist that I have linked up below, uh, up above, not below, up above. And yeah, um, we did go through single single eyeshadows and liners bronzers and blushes uh setting sprays highlighters setting powders and i'm like condensing down because in video number one of this declutter series i was telling you guys i got so much new products that I really don't have a place to put all of them so yeah that's how that's going um i do have a box for my twin sister i i have a box for my twin sister i have my project pan stuff i have a sale pile and i also have a expired pile before we go any further don't forget to hit the subscribe button the notification give this video a thumbs up share this video with all of your declutter friends as well as leave me a comment down below all right i don't know exactly how much i'm gonna declutter from this drawer from looking hmm, but we're gonna try i want to start with this one here i think some stuff may go into my freelance kids some stuff may go over into my business my business pile and stuff like that so i think this is going to go over to the business pile i could use these for certain things because i just don't use those i could go ahead and get rid of this bad boy um this is the no you know what i'm gonna keep this this is the elf makeup lock and seal I'm gonna keep it for right now. You, I need to go through all these liners and see if they're dried out or anything. So let's test that out. And I did not bring no makeup wipes this time. This one's still good by Stila. This is my favorite kitten karma. So I'm gonna keep this one. My Ruby Kisses Bling Liner. I hope this one's still good because this was a good one. Yeah. That one's not dried out. Oops. These are the Handian Liquid Glitter Liners. This one here. I only kept one box because I needed to know what they, they were called. This pink one looked like it may be dried out. Oh, no, it's not okay so and i know these are not old at all so most of these liquid liners these are some of my favorites i know for a fact i'm gonna keep most of these i love those liquid liners i just got these not too long ago from bh cosmetics i have the shade fresh and then i have the shade Y'all, these are so small. Psych. So, I'm going to keep these. Um, Here's another one I'm going to keep. These two here, I am going to go ahead and gift these. Declutter these. So, now I do like this Revline Photo Ready Eyeliner. I do like my Wet n Wild, even though this one was a limited edition. Yeah, still good. So these are all I'm going to keep. And I know I don't use these much, but when I do, I like to have them. I got to hurry up and use the Star Looks before it dries up because it's trying to dry up on me. Okay, we're going to go through this one. And I really don't see many that I'm going to get rid of besides this bad boy. I'm not going to, this is a single eyeshadow. Why do I even have it right there? This goes over here. Yeah, 
y'all. Y'all know how sometimes we misplace a lot of stuff. Put it in the wrong drawers and stuff like that. All right, this one's gonna go over to my business. Um, this one here is Watch Me Sparkle Loose Highlighter. Put that over to my business. I am gonna put this one over to my business as well. I don't really see any that I really wanna get rid of, y'all. This, I love me some glitters and pigments. I am gonna get rid of these, however. I just never use these, so these could go. I could finally get rid of these NYX Vivid Brights. I just don't use them. Gonna get rid of this black eyeliner from e.l.f. My NYX white base, I'm gonna hold on to for just a little bit longer. Um, all these glitters, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I know I really won't ever use silver. So that one could go. But most of these glitters and pigments, I'm gonna really keep. I know for a fact I'm keeping all of these. I'm keeping all of these right here. I'm keeping all of these. These here I still have yet to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these because I still never used them. So I'm gonna let these go. These are like eyeliner tattoo thingies and I never even tried them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them go. I know I'm gonna keep these too. I just recently got these. I'm gonna keep my pigment stats from Dazzling Creations, Maya Makeup Pigment. I'm keeping all of these. These don't go nowhere. I could finally get rid of this one because I never used it. I just kept it because it was called Bitch Slap Cosmetics, but I have enough. So I could get rid of that one. And then my two from Cutie Pop, Cutie Pop Glitz. I have IG and a pink one. I could get rid of the pink one. No, I can't. All right, that one looks a little bit, oh, looks a little bit better. Uh, well, let's change this around just a little bit. Okay, that'll work for right now. So let's move on to the next drawer. I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess all this up before it's over with, but let's move on to the next drawer, which is my backups. So when it comes to the backup drawer, this is basically items that I haven't used, may not possibly use, I may use type of ordeal. So I kind of want to just go through it and weed out the things that I know I'm not going to use and I could pass on to somebody else. I am going to keep these. These are just for fun when I get ready to do a fun little look. So we're going to keep those. I am going to go ahead and pass these metallic little body tattoos on. My NYX liquid liner. You guys know I love this. My BH Cosmetics um, trios I'm keeping. My L'Oreal liner I could go ahead and pass on to someone. My Cocoa Butter I could go ahead and pass on. It's just some things I just won't use you guys. This MAC Cleanse Off Oil, I could get rid of. 
my L'Oreal True Match and Cappuccino, I'm keeping. My chapstick, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep my MAC Foundation Pump. This is an extra one. Um, my Koki 70C, this is a backup, so I'm keeping. Y'all know I don't have Koki in my Walmart no more. Serums and stuff. This is from a brand that I got off of, off of, what is it called? Beauty Cloud. I did a review with all of their products. Um, so I'm going to keep the oil cleanser. I think I'm going to pass the on this, the cereal. What? The internet. What about it? It's tripping again. The serum, I'm going to go ahead and pass along. Um, the night cream with lavender and peony. Oh, it just smells so good. I think I'm going to keep this, you guys. It smells so good. The Cloud9 Hydrating Primer. It didn't work for me, so I am going to let this one go. And then the moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the moisturizer too. No, I'm just going to get rid of the primer. That's what I'm going to get rid of and I'm going to keep the moisturizer. So I kept the night cream, the cleansing oil, and the, and the daily moisturizer. This one here is my Wet n Wild Loose Setting Powder. I'm keeping it. This is in banana. I have a couple of eyebrow raises that I haven't used yet. So that stays. I'm going to go ahead and do away with the l'oreal butterfly mascara i still haven't opened this so i'm gonna let that one go i'm gonna go ahead and let go of my moisturizing sleeping mask by elf i had it for a while never used it never busted open so it goes i am gonna keep my nearly naked revlon deep y'all seen in the previous video i threw away the project pan one and it's because I knew I had this so I am going to keep this. I'm going to go ahead and throw out my Yes To lip balm. My Black Radiance Soft Focus. Uh, blah, 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 blah. My Black Radiance Soft Focus Creamy Bronze Finish. Both of these are backups brand new. Y'all know these are my ride or die so they stay. They will never go nowhere. What else I got in here? Oh, I got some Maybelline mascaras I'm going to keep. Um, I have the Makeup Shayla in Poppin' Purple with Maybelline. I have the same one in blue. And then I have a regular one. And I'm going to keep all three of these. Haven't opened them yet, but I am planning on using them. I do have my Creme Shop Swipe Right Brow Gel. This one is in black. Gonna keep. Y'all know I love that stuff as well. Viva La Juicy Perfume. Keeping. And then my Lash Adhesive. I'm keeping. So we did pretty good in this drawer. I feel like I did good for that drawer. No particular way to set it up, but it is what it is. And now I'm gonna get on the floor so that we could work through all these lashes that I have. Let's quickly go through these lashes because you guys, to be honest with y'all, I have my favorite pairs of lashes in my drawer over there at my vanity that y'all gonna see sometime throughout this declutter series i have my lashes and then elegancy boutique lashes and i am gonna add watch me sparkle lashes to that collection and that's that's like almost a whole drawer full of lashes right there with those three that i just named so we're gonna go through these and like really 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 be real tedious with it okay I know for a fact I want to keep my Kiss Contour Mink Lashes. These are the Faux Minks in the Style Midnight. 
y'all i absolutely love these lashes and i barely try to throw away some of my strip lashes i do want to keep my demi wispy lashes i have a blue pair and of course a black pair and i wear demi wispies all the time so i'm gonna keep those um my watch me sparkle stunning collection this is from the very first collection she had if y'all if you guys use my coupon code a marie on watch me sparkle you guys will save y'all some money i'm gonna keep these they are super cute plus i love the casing it's in it's all bedazzled and stuff so i'm gonna keep those let's pull out some of these my royal mink lashes this is in the style royal forgiveness I think these are going to be a maybe because I think I have another pair of these, but I'm not for sure. So I'm going to put these right here for maybes. Um, these are my Jazzy Girl Cosmetics and Jasmine Cherie. Um, I don't know if my code is still active. I was on the PR for them. I'm not sure if my code is still active, but if so, you guys check down below. Oops. You guys check down below in the hot box and go shop jazzy girl cosmetics i'm gonna keep these these are cute for our everyday look i kind of like keeping the lashes that were sent to me especially in like pr so these here are royal mink lashes as well and this one is in royal sauce she looks like this and i think i'm gonna go ahead and throw these out because they have glitter and everything stuck up in them and because I have so many lashes to go through, I really don't want to sit here and clean these. But Royal Sauce are some adorable lashes. You know what? I'm going to go back on the website and see if I can order me some more Royal Sauce. Um, I used to be on the PR for them too as well. I'm not for sure if my coupon code works still. But if so, check down below in the hot box. These are just a random style of lashes that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these out as well. I use them quite a bit. Okay, and these are from a company. I can never say this company's name. I, I wanna say it's called Sphinx. I'm not quite for sure, but she has her own shop as well too. She sells lashes and these are in the style TN14. I don't wore these out, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these. I have some lashes that I purchased, I guess, like maybe off AliExpress or somebody. But I've used these, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these as well. I haven't used this style, which it doesn't have a name. Oh, D180. I haven't used these, so I'm going to keep them as well as these and i'm not quite for sure where these are from but they're still in the packaging and i haven't worn them so i'm gonna keep these and wear these too because these are really pretty super full and pretty so i'm gonna keep those okay moving on we have some more we have a lot we have a lot of lashes these are elegancy boutique lashes as well these came in a different packaging these are desire i'm not gonna keep these only because look how worn out they are so as you could tell by the way they're worn out i loved them i love the packaging i really wish i didn't have to throw this packaging away because it is super cute but i am gonna go ahead and toss those and try to get another one these are bomb lashes by but i know i received these i think these came from she bad cosmetics if i'm not mistaken and look you guys there is no lashes in here so i am gonna get rid of this knowing that i love the cute packaging but i don't even know where the lashes are the style what is this d06 i've worn these Ooh, you could tell I've worn these before. It got lash pieces stuck over here. So I'm going to put these in the maybe as well. 
Um, these mink lashes I wore, and I'm not sure where they're from, but they're D804. I haven't worn these. Okay. Y'all, I love me some lashes. Ugh, let's look at these. I thought I wore them because it's off the band, but literally there's no glue. These are very pretty, but the lash band is just entirely too thick, so... I'm going to pass these along to someone. These lashes are by Mikawi. Mikawi. I think these were the ones my twin sent me, so I am going to keep these. I don't even know if I'm going to wear them. They are super long and full, but I'm going to keep them just in case. I kept these flutter lashes with makeup Shayla and never used them. I got these in a Beautycon box gonna keep them just because they're makeup Shayla I'm gonna keep my LA girl no my LA colors diva lashes I found these at the family dollar and I love them I am gonna get rid of these these are bottom lashes and I just can't seem to get them right so I have some more elegancy boutique lashes um, I have midnight which is my absolute favorite pair but since I done worn these out, I'm going to let them go. And I also have Tahiri. I'm going to keep. I just got these. So I'm going to keep Tahiri. I have some more lashes. And I, if I'm not mistaken, my twin sent me these as well. I This one don't have a name. But I'm going to keep them. They remind me of my lashes in pumps. But pumps is a tad bit longer. But I'm going to keep these in realm. This one is in E01. I'm going to keep these as well. These are super pretty. I love them. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to keep those. And these two, this one is 07, E07. Y'all excuse it if y'all hear the kids in the background. Yeah. I'm going to keep them, but they're extremely long and thick, but I love the style. And then here we are with another pair that doesn't have a number or name. So hopefully y'all can see those. I'm going to keep them. I do not want to keep struggling with that. I'm going to keep my sassy eyelash glue. I love this. This is not hair glue. This is it, like eyelash glue. So I'm keeping that. Ooh, I love these these are my wet and wild faux mink lashes in in the mood for mod i liked these but you guys the packaging is just so big i don't know what to do with them so they're gonna go in the maybe pal let's dig over here for these these here are luxury mink lashes as well and i think my twin sent me these so i'm gonna keep them I do have my Remy Ardell lashes in 778. Um, Andrea Renee turned me on to these, but I'm going to throw these out and I need to give me another set of these because these were the bomb. Okay, we have Royal Mink lashes again, and this one is in Royal Sketch. I done wore these out, so I'm going to declutter these. These are in E11. Very, very long, but full, so I'm going to give them a try. Here's another pair in SK08. Going to keep. Here are some mink lashes that I got from the, from the beauty supply store. I have two pairs. I have Miss Lash and Lash. And I absolutely love these, but you guys, I don't wear these out so much that I do need to get rid of them. They still look good, but the glue and stuff on the band is just extremely too much. So I'm keeping a lot of lashes. If I really want these again, I'll go back and purchase them. I have some of these lashes that came from a vendor and I was testing these out. So I'm going to keep the KS3D14s. I like this style. Um, I'm not for sure if I'm going to go back and order these for my site. But I like this style. So I'm going to keep this one. And I think I'm going to keep both of these too. 
and I gotta leave the plastic on because the numbers is on the back. So here's what this one looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then here's what this one looks like. I'm going to test them out, try them. If not, I'm going to do away with them. I think I'm keeping too many, you guys. So my Ardell Wispies, 614, 113, and 113, all three stays. These here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. These are the single lashes that I was using to try to do bottom lashes, but I told y'all it didn't work for me. I have one single pair of lashes left on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give away this pack that I got from Amazon. I think a company sent me these to review. So I used one. I'm gonna go ahead and get those away. And then we have here are another collection of the Sphinx lashes. I done, yeah, wore them out, so we're gonna get rid of those. And here's another one in the TN14. So these are the same as the ones that I got, and these are Aphrodite. And these are brand new, so I'm gonna keep these. And then we have these two left. I'm gonna give these away to someone and you know what? I'm going to put these in my client kit as well as these in my client kit and have some extra lashes over there. So on the maybes, I'm going to go ahead and throw these out. I'm going to go ahead and throw these out. And I'm going to go ahead and throw these out. That was easy. <laughs> so let's put all this back. Y'all, we did extra good on this drawer. We did super good. I'm proud of myself. So, let's move on to the first eyeshadow palette drawer. And then that will be it for this portion of the declutter. We did three drawers on this side and we're going to do one eyeshadow palette drawer. The very hard part. Okay, you guys, this is going to be super hard for you girl. Now, in the past, y'all seen me do mini declutters, but y'all rarely ever see me do eyeshadow palettes because I have a very hard time letting go eyeshadow palettes. So, I think it's time. Who y'all pray for me. I think it's time. So here in this first eyeshadow palette drawer, we have a whole bunch of smaller size eyeshadow palettes. Very few will be decluttered. And if they are decluttered, they're gonna be sold and or thrown away if they're just like extremely old type of thing. We're gonna start on this side. So I do have this Revolutions makeup palette. This is the Reloaded Neutrals 3. I just recently, not too long ago, got this. So I don't think I'm ready to let it go yet. So I'm gonna hold on to it. Same thing with this one, the divided, the, I'm sorry, the division. This one reminds me of the ABH subculture and I got rid of the subculture, but I actually like this one better, which is freaking funny, but gonna hold on to that my only Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette this one is ring the alarm I believe yes absolutely love it as y'all can tell so we won't get rid of this one just yet my Omrezi um, palette I am gonna go ahead and 
do away with because I haven't used it in a very long while. So I think it's that time to let it go to somebody. Okay, I thought to bring y'all in just a tad bit closer. The Ace Butte Grandos palette got in a boxy charm. I think I'm gonna keep this because I liked it. I know I liked it, but I think I'm gonna keep this. This one's gonna go for the maybe section. All right, my Juvia's Place of Freak palette. I tried to use it more than once. For some reason, some of the shadows don't work as good as what I know from Juvia's Place. And I spoke of this a couple of times that this is not the best palette from Juvia's Place. So therefore, I will be selling this one. My Nubians by Juvia's Place. This is another one I rarely use. So I think it's about that time for me to go ahead and let it go if anything y'all see that i may be selling y'all need to check on either my poshmark or my website amblavish.com because i'm gonna be selling products that i feel like can be rehomed on those two sites i'm trying to get away from poshmark and do my own thing so make sure you check those two places out all right my nubians three corals palette you guys i used this once and i honestly don't think i will be using it so i'm gonna do away with it my saharan by juvia's place same thing and y'all this is real hard for me but I know which Juvia's Place palettes I love and I know which ones that just don't work for me. I was on the kick for a long time of collecting every single palette from Juvia's Place. And then after the Freak palette, I was just like kind of halted and stunned by, you know, the lack of work they put into it. So I kind of slowed down on buying every single palette. I was that girl that wanted to have the whole collection and yeah no matter if i would use them or not i was that girl that wanted to hold off on them so i think it's time to just be real with myself and you know get rid of them so right here is my smallest palettes outside of these wet and wild ones which i just got these wet and wild ones off of poshmark and I have yet to use them, so I'm not going to get rid of them just yet. Um, my makeup Shayla City Mini with Maybelline, I'm not going to get rid of, even though I still have yet to use it. Y'all, I love me some makeup Shayla, and I try to support everything she does. I'm going to get rid of my LA Girls Matte Palette. This one is in Mattifying. I used this for a long time. I did a couple of videos with this eyeshadow palette i loved it but i don't even reach for it no more all right oh my little elf minis i'm not ready to let go yet i just got these not too long ago these little bite size i have carnival candy and cream and sugar i did videos using these as well i'm not letting these go yet so here's another la colors matte palette this one is in matarama I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one as well as the matter, matter terrific, matter terrific. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two. So here's the only Huda Beauty Electric Obsession. I love this for so freaking long. I'm going to keep it. I think these are one of the best little minis Huda Beauty came out with, even though that's the only one I ever had. I'm satisfied with it. This is the NY, NYC Smoky Blues. You guys, I kept this for the longest because as we all know, NYC is no longer being sold, but I still haven't used it. So might as well just let it go, right? All right. And y'all know I have a strong obsession with my Wet n Wild. And I got rid in my last declutter, I got rid of a lot. Of my wet and wilds so right here I got the naked truth 
This one here is Comfort Zone, the new formulated one. Rose in the Air, and not a basic peach. None of these are going in tea wear. Not getting rid of them. And then my Airbnb New York. This one is the Strawberry Corals palette. I'm gonna keep this. They sent me over a like a PR kit and I tested out all the stuff that they sent me. I did a video on it um maybe two years ago. Maybe maybe a year ago. And I loved everything and I kept almost everything. This palette here is more of a highlighter palette and like a highlighter blush ish palette but this is eyeshadows and highlighter so I keep it with the with the eyeshadows but you guys Airbnb New York is sold in beauty supply stores and you can find them on Instagram go check them out okay so my Nika K nine pans got them in a beauty supply store did Valentine's Day looks with it this one's Sugar Plum and this one's Poison Apple. Absolutely like them. They remind me of the Huda Beauties. So those two not going nowhere. My original Comfort Zone not going anywhere. Solutions. This is limited edition from Wet n Wild. But this is the only colorful palette I have left from Wet n Wild. And I don't use it on camera but I will use it by myself off camera. So this one stays. All right, and then this one here, you guys, I think these are single eyeshadows that I got like throughout BoxyCharm in them, I believe. And this is a BoxyCharm Z palette. There are some shades that I really want to get rid of, like this one. This one here is from MAC, but I just can't remember the shade. These three are maybe Makeup Geek, I think. I can't really remember no more. But I think I'm just going to keep it and see if I can use it. If not, then I'm going to do away with all the single shadows and just keep the Z palette for myself. Um, this BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette I got when I first started my YouTube. So I'm going to get rid of this. My Milani Most Love Mattes. I think it's about that time that I let it go. I really did like this. But um, I really don't even reach for it no more. I'm going to show you guys another All Mattes palette that I know I'm going to keep. And that one is way better than the Milani. But it was good while it lasted. I am going to go ahead and do away with the Wild Child from BH Cosmetics. And I think these are like the last BH Cosmetics palettes I had left. But these are the baked eyeshadows. Got it when I first started. And it's about that time. My Venus palette from Lime Crime. I'm going to keep. So these two faced little mini sets that I got for Christmas one year absolutely think they're cute but honestly you guys I swatched them and I hauled them but I never used them so it's time this AFU deluxe eyeshadow palette is from Amazon I was a brand ambassador for this company for a while they kept sending me different palettes and um, having me review it I also did a giveaway with them if you guys search my channel a Marie Beauty AFU all of the videos will come up very good eyeshadow palettes very pigmented very affordable but this palette here was not my favorite only because this is more of that sultry smoky cool type of palette so i'm gonna see if anybody would like to purchase it if not i it'll just go on the trash i guess because i really don't have friends and family that wear makeup okay so my car beauty duos the purple haze orange pop and girl scout 
I did three separate videos on all three of these palettes. A. Marie Beauty, Times Square Beauty. You will find those videos. I can't link every single video in the description. That's why I'm telling you to go search them on YouTube or Google and you will find them. Um, I'm going to keep these for right now because these are fairly new to me. All right, and my ABH and Too Faced. Y'all, this is where things going to get a little rocky. For one, my Norvina palette. Y'all, I waited for a very long time to pick this up. And when I finally did pick it up, I used it once. So, she's going to go. She's going to go. If you guys would like to purchase it, look at Poshmark or my website because I'm doing away with this. My Jackie Ironer palette is one of my favorites. Not getting rid of this bad baby, so no need. My Modern Renaissance, not getting rid of. Let me show y'all how bad I done dug off into Modern Renaissance. Like... First of all, packaging looks crazy. And I use this for so many looks. It has dents in almost every eyeshadow. Oh, one of my favorite ABH palettes. All right. My Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon. You guys, I wanted this for so freaking long. So, so freaking long. And I waited so long to get it and literally used it once. So guess what? She has to go as well. Now my peach, my sweet peach palette. I like this one. I like this one and I stopped using it on camera because nobody talks about it no more. But one of my favorite palettes still smells like peaches to this day. Oh, one of my favorites. So this one stays. I think we did pretty good on this one. Um, my maybe. I think I'm gonna keep the Ace Butane from Boxy Charm. I think I'm gonna keep that one. So let me see how many I'm selling. I'm selling seven palettes. And letting go 11 so I did ooh, I did pretty good I didn't do so bad so let's organize and put these back the best way possible and yes I do have drugstore mixed with high-end that never has bothered me so I'm gonna keep it that way Yeah, I don't even know how I want to do this. Okay, so that one can't stand up. All right, you guys, we did pretty good. Did really, really good. Like, look at that. We have so much room and maybe I could add some of the other ones from the bottom drawers to here. I never got rid of that many palettes a day in my life. So y'all know I'm growing. But that is it to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter series part number 55 I don't know but um hopefully you guys enjoyed I would love for you guys to you know give me your opinions and your thoughts down below in the comments check out my Poshmark as well as my website www.amblavish.com to see if you find some things that you want to purchase from your girl shipping is very fast it only takes like two to three days for shipping and make sure y'all check me out on all my social medias and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification share with your friends if you like this video also give me a like if you like this video and turn on your post notification and i will catch y'all in the next one deuces